What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Toke Moment. My name, of course, is Toke Makinwa, and this week, guys, I'm just preempting you guys and letting you guys know beforehand that in the next couple of weeks i'm not available for brunches for lunches for hangouts because i am going to be following the real housewives of lagos Fusa! finally i am such a huge fan of the franchise the real housewives franchise and you guys have heard it i mean we've seen the boss we've seen it online lagos is finally getting a moment Why do you act like a wing? And why the drama? If you disrespect me, I'll give it back to you. Shout out to Show Max for finally doing this for us because I know that a lot of production companies in the past have tried to hack it. You know, Lagos is a very, very different place. And Lagos had to take its own time because you know that we are known as very flamboyant people. Like even everywhere around the world everyone's talking about the real housewives of lagos like i can see that people on the other franchise like people on the real housewives of lagos like uh, the real housewives of like beverly hills um atlanta they reposted this flyer when it came out because everybody is looking forward to watching the real housewives of lagos because come on now we know lagosians we like to do we like to show when you see a lagosian anywhere in the world you know they are fucking lagosians do you understand what i'm trying to say the way they talk lagosians can dress they will dress in designer just to go to their pool behind their backyard and i hope that this selection of ladies that they are going to give to us will give us fire for fire guys i'm super excited you guys can tell by how i sound right i've had sleepless nights i've just been counting down i remember when the first promo came out hey caroline hodgkins sister i hail you she said i was married to a billionaire poor people can't stand that Woo! step on us we are your grand nuts. we are your floor mat we are your dumb mat i was like there you go i love the fact that she was very honest about who she was i mean she already started saying things like when they had this chest moment she's like to go digging sus <laughs> no 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 <laughs> now when i first saw the selection of the ladies i first thought to myself hmm this is such an unlikely bunch like i would never walk in a restaurant and see these six women together because they're just from different places and works of life. Um, social media is a big marketplace. So of course, everybody knows the Yabo Ojo. I mean, if you don't know who she is, she's a famous actor, a businesswoman. I think I really like her, her mothering side because she's always sharing her journey to motherhood and all the things that she's been through. And of course, during lockdown, we got to see another side of her and she would always give us all those fabulous videos, but I never really saw her on a franchise like this. I don't know why. I just didn't see. I don't know. Like, am I alone? Because I just, I just didn't home. think that you know she would she would be in a reality TV show. But hey, I'm here for it. I can't wait to see what she brings to the show. Tony Lawani, you've done reality TV shows before. You've had like one or two. We've seen your personality. We've seen who you are, and you know, I, I really don't know. If there's an element of surprise to Tony Lawani being one of the ladies, she's a fashion goddess. I mean, everybody knows she has like 9, 10, 15, 20, 25 businesses running at the same time. You know, and she's your serial entrepreneur. Tony is a definition of a hustler. Hustler.com. She did Amala.com. She did fashion designing. She did Barbie salon. She did uh, children's hair salon. She did, there's nothing to it, you know, I'm in that one building where she was doing this her business. So, I mean, I know that we've seen your business side. I'm hoping that she brings so much more than the business side it would be nice to sort of see i don't know what are you guys looking forward to i mean i'll get back to Tony. now choma good hair choma is like your influencer fashion girl um oh this is her signature post on instagram choma sorry but yeah continue all her fabulous pictures her clothes everything i'm super excited that she's on it because i mean what is real housewives of lagos without you know choma good hair have you not seen all the all the bracelets 
I know I have, but do you not see all the bracelets that home girl packed on her hand? Do you not see all the sunglasses walking into the private jet? Ha! We are going to hear it, guys. I cannot wait. So who else? Choma Good Hair. I'm looking forward to seeing what she brings to the table. Laura IKG, actually, I've never met her before. I've seen her. And many years ago, I think we she, she, we had a little... Not we. Her, her sister and I got into something online. And that was the first time I ever heard about Laura and Keiji, by the way. Uh, but over the years, I like that she's successfully come out of her sister's shadow. And she started influencing. Um, I used to see all her dance videos online. Um, you know, she got married. She's got two kids. We've literally seen Laura grow before our eyes. So I cannot wait to see what she brings to this show. And lastly, has to be Miriam Tima. Did I get that right? Tima. I used to call her Trima, but I think it's Tima. Ah, if I didn't get it right, Miriam, Joe, forgive me. I know Miriam. She's a PR exec. Um, Miriam is funny, die. Like, I know she's really, really hilarious. Uh, Miriam is also very opinionated. Ah, because when you watch the franchise of The Real Housewives, there's different characters. There's always that boss chick. There's always that family-oriented person. There's always that party-go-lucky chick who is trying to find love or just trying to just bring her personality. There's always the shit starter. Those ones that are always looking for trouble. They're always telling somebody what somebody said. They're always trying to kick start what somebody said, what somebody did not say. How this girl, how this girl, how this girl. And if I look at these six ladies and I'm trying to place them now, I think the boss chick will most certainly be Toy. Because she already tells us about, I'll be shocked if she's not too. Oh. She already tells us about all her businesses. I do this, I fashion design, I dance, God, elegante, this, that, 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 that. Um, the drama queen. I think Choma might be a drama queen. I definitely see Choma giving some drama. I mean, because let me just tell you something. Look, that's what we're here for. Do you understand? We like all the things you guys do for work. We like how fabulous your, your pictures are on Instagram. But we want to see some bass bulls. We want to see some, you know, head bitching. Charge. Okay, so I already labeled um, Tony as I think the boss chick. Um, Caroline, I think, is the personality because she already gave that from um, from the promos that I saw. I mean, she's like, she's not like <laughs> in here. Poor people can't stand that. Whew. I'm even hot. Sorry, it's not our fault that we are poor. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, Caroline. We are waiting to watch you deliver on the show. Um, who do I think is going to definitely be a shit starter? Laura. I'm putting my money on Laura. I think she's going to ruffle the ladies. She seems like that sort of person. That will just i don't know about you but come 8th of april guys make sure you subscribe it's showing only on showmax.com so all you have to do is to go to www.showmax.com download and subscribe you guys i'm not invited to any cookouts any hangouts i don't want to meet anybody all i want to be doing is watching real house out of lagos i hope they give us fashion definitely i can see from the posters from the ad from the production did a good job by that poster they put out i hope they give us wealth uh, what other things do i want you to look out for i think just keep an open mind honestly because we will be shocked everything i shared here might be completely false like the person i thought would be the shit that i'm actually now be a family oriented person the person i thought would give us personality might be so boring or might be exciting do you know what i mean but whatever it is guys i'm looking forward to it i cannot wait to watch it I, honestly i i am hyperventilating as you can see because i love love reality tv show and i love love the real housewives franchise and i'm super excited that we have the real housewives of lagos coming up um you guys know all the ladies it's Tony lawani it's choma good hair it's um miriam Tima. it's caroline hotkins i hope i got the last name correctly and of course laura ekg and all their bios are all on instagram so check them out and know what they do right before the show launches so that you're not carrying last do you know what i mean until i talk to you guys again about real housewives of lagos make sure you have fun watching it and join me again on the next episode of talking moments i think i'm going to be reviewing something else as well i love my reviews i think they're absolutely fabulous now don't like i know that many of you are going to download showmax.com because of this review and you're going to watch it so make sure you guys you know let's chit chat we'll, i'll put up on my page as well so we can have conversations because you see this show i'm carrying it on my head i'm so excited i'll chat with you guys on the next episode of talking moments 